Envisioned as a key pillar in Kenya's Vision 2030, Konza City was designed to position the nation as a global leader in technology and innovation. The city, often referred to as the Silicon Savannah, was intended to be a thriving hub for ICT, research and education. So where does Konza City stand as of today? Recent developments include the completion of essential infrastructure like the Konza Technopolis offices and a cutting-edge data center. While progress has been made, questions remain about the overall pace and future impact of the project. Despite earlier days, there is renewed focus on advancing the city's development with ongoing efforts to build roads, utilities and sustainable spaces. In this future, in this feature, our reporter Mombi Wawero brings us a comprehensive update on the progress of Konza City exploring what has been accomplished so far and what the future holds for this ambitious project. In the heart of Kenya, a groundbreaking vision is unfolding. Welcome to Konza Technopolis, a flagship project under Kenya's Vision 2030 aimed at transforming the nation into a newly industrializing middle-income country. This ambitious initiative is designed to provide a high quality of life for all its citizens within a clean and secure environment. Konza Technopolis is not merely a science park. It is an area of innovation that emphasizes collaboration between government, academia, private companies and the community. Spanning 5,000 acres it is meticulously planned as a live work and play environment at full capacity it is projected to contribute two percent to kenya's gdp and accommodate over 240,000 people uh, we have life. in 2009 the project was officially launched when then late president moe kibaki signed the agreement to establish konza technopolis as part of kenya's vision 2030 initiative between 2009 and 2012 initial ideas and plans were developed, focusing on creating a high-tech city that would foster innovation and collaboration among government, academia, and private sectors. From 2012 to 2014, a detailed master planning was conducted, including environmental assessments and obtaining necessary government approvals to proceed with the development. The implementation phase was from 2014 to 2016, when the official construction phase began, focusing on foundational infrastructure, including roads, utilities, and public facilities. From 2016 to 2020, significant infrastructure development occurred during this period, including the establishment of a water treatment plant, waste management systems, and ICT conduit. The, the Konza Innovation Ecosystem Initiative and the Konza Greening Initiative were launched to promote sustainability and innovation. The city began to operate with the completion of key infrastructure projects from 2021 to 2022 the Konza National Data Center was launched and construction of the Kenya Advanced Institute of Science and Technology KAIST commenced targeting its first intake in the quarter two of 2024. Since 2022, focus shifted to vertical developments and further investor onboarding. The Technopolis aims to achieve a population of over 240,000 at fuel build-out with continued emphasis on sustainability and technological innovation. It is easy, uh, to develop this to the Josephine Dambuki, the Chief Manager of Business Development and Innovation at Konza, takes us through what the team has accomplished, which includes a successful Phase 1. Uh, what have we done? In the development of the Phase 1, it's currently 100% complete. You will see um, all the infrastructure is ready, our budgeting cycle, our financing cycle. But uh, as, as we are in 20, 2024, uh, we've also been affected for sure. Uh, some of the projects we wanted to accelerate and move faster have not been uh, may, may be delayed faster to, in terms of its achievement. However, for Konza Technopolis, it's important to note that the government is injecting what we like to call in IT terms seed funding. And the seed fund is putting infrastructure that nobody else can do. You know, when you talk about the utility network, 
when you talk about the water, the wastewater, the solid waste, all that is what the government is doing. Up to 80% of the investment here will be private sector driven. And so for us now, our focus is to get the private sector to unlock. Because as the private sector unlocks the investments, they create jobs, they also help us because the model includes uh, service charge, annual ground rent. So we are able to collect some revenue to support the operationalization of, of our city. But for sure, to enable this to happen, there's still some things that we must do, uh, policy, regulatory frameworks that really need support. And um, so far, we've received a good support uh, of government uh, in our bill. Uh, we are seeing that hopefully we'll be able to close on it and uh, give us a chance to move this city to the potential that it deserves. Uh, we're also in, uh, uh, looking at innovating financing model, a PPP, for example, for projects that if the government would do 100%, they would take time. But with a PPP model, you get a private developer and they're able to come together and uh, develop some of these uh, projects. The development of Konza is well underway with Phase 1 already creating 3,000 jobs and injecting over $50 million into the economy each month. Key infrastructure includes a state-of-the-art water treatment plant with a capacity of 7.5 million liters per day, a waste management system and extensive ICT conduit. Uh, indeed, you cannot develop without uh, benchmarking. And I will tell you that uh, our smart city is benchmarked with the international best. Now, this project was announced in 2008. But it was not until 2014 that the first excavation works were done. And you can see how much time is that? Five years at least. Now what happened in those five years was a lot of benchmarking, a lot of um, design thinking, uh, creation of master plan. In fact, we are implementing our third plan because uh, the country actually uh, seconded officers to go to Silicon Valley, to go to China, to go to the research uh, triangle in, in, uh, in, in the US, to go to the Silicon Valley itself. And we work with a, develop, a master plan development partners, a, a US based. Sustainability is a core principle of Konza's development. The Technopolis is set to feature the largest substation of East and Central Africa, guaranteeing reliable energy supply. Additionally, a dedicated solar farm and solar powered rooftops will enhance energy efficiency, aligning with global sustainability goals. We have an average of 3,000 workers. They are in different projects within the, con the Konza city as it happens. And these are bound to grow. Education and research are important in driving innovation at Konza. The Kenya Advanced Institute of Science and Technology, a postgraduate institution focused on STEM, will play a crucial role in developing the next generation of leaders and innovators. Konza Technopolis presents a wealth of investment opportunities across diverse sectors, including ICT, life sciences, agriculture, and real estate. With attractive fiscal incentives and one-stop shop for investor services, it is aimed at attracting both local and international businesses. This city is IT ready. There's utility networks which fiber optic is being made. And who's laying the fiber optic? All providers. So Jamie, anyone in uh, optical network and uh, communication can come in, lay up their infrastructure. The magic is that there will be no digging. You know, Nairobi and other parts of the city, there's always somebody cutting the road. Here, all that infrastructure is shared and it's already deployed underground for the city usage, including even electricity. And so what we are doing now with the engineers is putting sensors so you can actually maintain your system as long as everybody is moving. The Technopolis is also home to specialized research and development centers, including a life science park that fosters collaboration among key players in the field. Upcoming facilities will focus on vaccine research and production, as well as a digital media city for the creative sector. Because in, in uh, the Kenya Advanced Institute, we're looking at big tech. And the beauty about this university is that it is being modeled out of the Korea Advanced Institute of Science and Technology. Korea Kite is number 50 globally in terms of its excellence in education and excellence in service delivery. Community engagement is vital to the success of Konza Technopolis. Initiatives like the Jitume program will establish digital hubs across all 47 counties, providing access to digital devices and skills training. This program aims to empower local communities and foster economic growth. Every project in Konza is designed to be green certified, reflecting our commitment to a sustainable future. As Konza Technopolis continues to evolve, it stands as a big 
beacon of hope and innovation for Kenya and beyond. Here, the future is not just envisioned, it is being built one project at a time. Reporting for Hope TV Newswatch, my name is Mombi Waweru. Well, I'm pretty sure we are all eager to see what uh, Konza City will become in future. There goes Mumbi Waweru. Many thanks for the report. Now, that marks the end of Newswatch tonight. My name is Samia Dika. Do have a lovely night and enjoy the rest of your weekend. Let's meet on Monday.